Right, these are the quick change running rigs that I use. They're really simple, very effective, tangle free, and they allow you to change your lead or feeder really quickly or your hook link. I'll show you how they work. You get them in brown and you get them in this nice weed that I'm weedy green that I'm using today. All you do is you start off with straight large bore run ring. Just get your main line. It's always worth just snipping your main line to make sure it's not pigtailed and it's nice and sharp to thread through. Obviously it's going to thread through this large bore run ring easily through there. And then we take this one, get the pointy end, this tail rubbery end, just thread your main line through there and then the swivel's going to sit into here. And I always use a four turn grinner for this type of thing, twice through the eye. Four turn grinner will never let you down. I've caught big fish all over the world with this knot. And it's one of my favourite knots. And the best thing about it is it's dead easy to tie. Some people tend to go more than four turns, but I don't think that makes it any stronger, possibly even weakens it. There we go. One, two, three, four. and always lick and lock. Mono, you get friction. Never be in a hurry to tighten the knot. Just always just tease it down. It's gonna be out there for a long time. You don't wanna rush this part. And it's when you've got a fish on that counts. And you'll also see as I tighten that, the hallmark of any good knot, you'll always get a figure of eight. And just snip off the tag end. You don't have to go too tight. People wanna to go too tight. Mother Nature doesn't do straight lines, you can leave plenty off. I'll now show you how it all works. Swivel just nicely squeezes into there. And there it is, it's really tangle free. And when I put my hook link on, you'll see it even better because it acts as a paternoster type boom. In fact, I'll put that on and show you. I've got a figure of eight loop knot here. So just put that over the claw. Allows you to have spare hook links made up and you can quickly change if you want a longer or shorter hook link or mono to braid, whatever. And there, if you look at that, I'll just put the feeder on and show you how easy that is to attach first. There's my feeder already loaded, ready to go, try and catch a fish. And the great thing is, is if you want to change feeders heavier, lighter, bigger, cage, closed, or if you want to put a bomb on, or like me, if you're lazy and you leave your rod set up, at the end of the day, I just unclip the feeder, unclip the hook link, wind this down to the tip eye, and it's all ready to go. And there, look at that. That sits really nicely. That acts as a pattern oster boom, so your hook link kicks out. Works perfectly. Never tangles. It's really good. And again, when it's on the bottom, which of course is the important part too, is that will just sit there like that, and it's free running. It sits nice and neat and you get a take, just pulls through, absolutely perfect.